Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at templates in Tick Tick, how I use uh, shortcuts to do a better template. Let's do templates that I like and the native template feature in Tick Tick. We're on the iPad today because Tick Tick templates are not currently supported in Mac OS as of August 19th. Yes, I record really early for these things, which sucks that they're not supported. And then shortcuts aren't supported on Mac OS either. So I couldn't use either of the methods I use to automate, but luckily I'm mostly on my iPad. Before we dive in, I want to let you know there's two ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and sign up and support the channel, help keep videos coming. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take my Skillshare course on TickTick. Buckle up. Welcome. So we are looking at TickTick. Tick. Let's go ahead and look at templates. We can go ahead and go into general and then we go into template. And these are the templates that it comes with. I don't use them because they're just not great. <laughs> that's, that's it. So I can come in here and create a task. That's what this will be a task and to do's before work. I can apply it in templates if I want, and that will create successfully added to inbox. And now I have this to do's before work in my inbox. Although you got to be honest, like to go in every single time over to the gear and to go into general and to go and navigate to the template, just never going to happen. You have to turn it on too, right? If you don't turn it on, it won't be there. So that's never going to happen because that's way too much work and I am way too lazy. The other way to do this is you have to click into like add a new task and then you can go up to this page icon, which clearly did not show up until I clicked in there and I can press it and I can choose two things to pack for traveling. And now I have a task with subtasks. Although I got to admit, that's not how I like to do it. So you can even see if I look at probably camping, you can see these are, I need to fix some stuff on kids bikes that I saw after the last camping trip. That's how I'd like to do it. I would like to have a camping list and then have all the little tasks in there. Cause in the first aid kit, I need Cortex patches in there. I need a sewing kit in there, right? That's where my sub tasks go. So I do not use that as a template, but what I do have is, let's do a content calendar thing. Let's add something from my, oh, in here, what do we want in here? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do use my task duplication shortcut in a second to create my task for apps that make iPad better than Mac OS, because I think there are reasons that iPad OS is better than Mac OS. There's reasons the other way too. I actually have like apps that put me back on my Mac as a secondary video, but that's not what I'm going to do. So you see down here, I have templates. I have a few Nexus content, book video project, video project and a car camping trip. So I've got some duplicate or projects right there to duplicate. But what I'm going to do first, and this is because Tick Tick does not offer the ability to create a list, is I'm just going to say dupe. Um, and I'm going to make it purple because I know I want all of my tasks or all of my content calendar items to be purple. And I create dupe because there's a text parsing issue in iPadOS 14 right now, which doesn't let me use um, doesn't let me name the list properly. Like I can't search for a list name. So I'm going to go TT dupe and I'm going to hit TT duplicate project. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say video project. And I have it. Now, another thing it doesn't let you do yet, unfortunately, is it doesn't let me put in my subtasks, but tick tick is pretty good at this. Let's come and hit dupe. And then I go to YouTube and I can paste in that list and I click this thing right down here and they turn into subtasks, which is excellent. And let me rename this too. So this is apps that get me on my iPad and I can put it in the content calendar and I'll copy that. And then this, if you have seen my content calendar video, you know that this is kind of the basis of my content calendar tagging. I'll show you that. I'll finish that right off and show you how I set this whole thing up. I know this will be down here somewhere near the end because it's brand new. And the last thing I need to do is go in and do my post sub tasks. And I come back in here, apps that get me back on my iPad and I can go to post, paste, hit that. 
And then my final step in doing my content calendar is actually to go to month view, view options. I only want to see things that are tagged. Content calendar, done. Now you can see I've got stuff scheduled. And then I can come in here and I can go right there. Apps that get me on my iPad will come out on the 21st. So that's how I do my templates because the native features in TickTick -tick for templates are only okay. They're not great. I'd rather see templates just work better, have more to them and be on Mac OS. Like the fact that they're not on Mac OS is pretty lame TickTick. -tick. I gotta go with that. Even though I'm using you as like my task management app, it's super lame you don't have this on Mac OS. It's super lame. I guess I could use it on the web on Mac OS, but uh, super lame. That's it. That's the video. I will have the shortcut linked below. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you go to subscribe and then hit the bell so YouTube lets you know what's happening. And if you really want to support the channel, again, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel. Or you can go to ticktick.no. You go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take my Skillshare course on TickTick, and I show you not only templates, but more stuff. Have an excellent day.